Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you are staying safe and healthy. So today I am going to show you how I set up my little workspace slash reading room slash YouTube video recording space. It was a long process but I finally put everything together and I am really excited to share this with you all. So let's get started. This room is really small. It measures 7 feet by 6 feet. And this little room was pretty much a dumping ground for all the stuff that I didn't want to deal with. So the first thing was obviously to clear everything out. It was so satisfying to see the room all cleared out and this is what it looks like. I am moving this desk by the window so that it can get ample natural light. You must have been thinking why I am sticking these papers on the wall. Actually I am sticking this to position my wall hanging so that I can hang the hooks accordingly. These plants are all indoor plants and this room gets pretty bright light so I don't need to worry about their health. Actually, I am in shortage of one window curtain, so I am going to put these two hanging plants on the grill so that it can block some direct sunlight. Now let's decorate the bookshelf. This sewing machine is from Usha and I got this almost 4 to 5 years back and since then it has been really useful to me. Remember those days when these pocket treadiers were in trends? And all these years it was hiding somewhere in our house. I discovered it somehow and thought it is obviously worth showing off.
I'm going to attach this string light across the window panel and it will give me the dreamy curtain look at night. You must have seen this net curtain tutorial video on my channel. If not, please do check it out. And I am hanging this sheer curtains just because it will not block any light from outside. So this is a small tip from me. If your room is very small, do not hang any dark colored heavy curtain. Always go for light shaded sheer curtain. It will give you the much needed light you want. Also create an illusion of comparatively large room. My desk is not in a good condition, so here I am using a tablecloth to damage control. I made this desk organizer from waste cardboard material, so you can recycle your shopping boxes to create this type of organizer. And it's really useful to keep your books, notebooks and diaries in place. This cute little desk calendar is one of my favorite DIYs and I have also a DIY video on my channel about this desk calendar. Please do check it out. This mug is a popular handicraft from Arunachal Pradesh and its speciality is that it is made from bamboo. I am using this to put my painting brushes but it has real life use also. You can actually enjoy your tea or coffee into it. Also these organizers are made from cardboard boxes and believe me these are very useful to organize your clutter. I put all my DIY stuffs into this also I use it to store my phone and laptop chargers. I am using this basket to organize my all fabric colors and I made this from a broken plastic container few days back.
Now let's bring some more greens into the room. Okay, whenever you put a plant into your room, always put a plate underneath. I am in shortage of plates, so I'll put that later. But remember, it is mandatory. These wall hangings are all DIY, so I am going to say this again. If you like any of these DIYs, please do check my channel. You will get all those tutorials there. Okay, it's almost ready. Now let's see the final outcome all together. <laughs> 